So today I want to talk about websites for your small service business. Uh, if you don't have a website already, or if you have a website and it's not really doing much for you, then this is going to be a great video for you to be watching. What's up? I go by the name of DJ The Boss. I own GECO Commercial Cleaning uh, out here in Seattle, Washington. Well, Marco Tio, Washington is where my office sits, which is where I'm at right now, inside of my office. I also own Nine Media Creative, a small a creative agency here also in the same building that I'm sitting in right now with a studio in the back. I've been in business for about the last eight years now, almost eight years. It's been it's been a good run. But enough about me. I just uh, like to build a, a community of like-minded business owners here, people that want to grow their small service businesses into, into something bigger, something uh, you know that creates a little bit more freedom of time and financial freedom for you and a place where we can learn from each other. I don't have anything to, to sell you guys. I don't have a master class or like a course or any uh, coaching or anything to sell you. This is really just about me having a, a place to share my thoughts and also learn from my community. And because some of you guys are a little bit further than I am, some of you guys are just starting out, I was only able to get where I am because I, I was able to find the information out online on places like YouTube and Google you know, for how to do this business. And this business will uh, it actually saved my life. If you guys don't know my story, I was homeless when I started my commercial cleaning business about seven years ago. Found my way to sleeping into you know someone's mud room, whatever that is. Yeah, seven years later, I'm, you know, I've, I'm thriving, doing, doing pretty well for myself. Not, not to brag or anything, but just to say that I have some success. I'm not like a super rich millionaire or anything like that. I'm just, you know, but I am doing well. We have, I have no more you know, money concerns or immediate money concerns like I used to in, when I was in a, that situation. Like I said, today I want to talk about websites and a website for your small service business. I'll use my company or what I, what I went through uh, with my commercial cleaning company's website. And uh, hopefully that will you know, provide some value to you guys who are you know, on your journey as well. The videos have been sporadic. I got them getting a little bit more consistent nowadays now that I'm back into the office. If you don't know, I took a couple weeks off just to have a little break and a vacation. It was also you know, closer to Labor Day when I, when I first went on vacation. So I just used that opportunity to take a couple days off where I was gonna, was, you know, where business was gonna be closed for a couple days anyway. That gave me a break, revamped my motivation, that you know, made me realize that I actually do want to continue to grow this and make this larger and move to that next level. And so I'm still here. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff to get to. Get to. Got probably 200 emails in my inbox. The shop and the studio it look it looks a mess. Uh, we've had some personnel changes, so we've got a bunch of locks and colts to change. There's a laundry list of things to get done around here. It's a lot of work, so this video won't be super long. So I got to actually start, uh, you know, take the trash out and start sweeping up the shop in the back to get it ready for, to 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 have public access. So that's one of the other big things that we're doing around here for Night Media is that we're opening the studio up to the public. So if you are in the Seattle area and you want to you know, have a nice professional place to record your Instagram posts or reels or videos or interviews, then you know, look up Night Media on Google and come check us out. But we're gonna get right into more about making a website for your service business right after this. Look, this for all my bosses. Go do your bosses. Loving how you go, babe. It's for all my dreamers and my doers and all the entrepreneurs. Just believe in what you're doing and pursuing them. It's for all my folks, babe. Go do your bosses. Shout out to Delicate Dandy on YouTube, She's becoming one of my favorite subscribers on this platform. I really appreciate you for always interacting and always asking questions and you know commenting on the posts and participating in lives. I notice you, so I really appreciate you for being a dope subscriber. You're one of the best. You're the reason this community is what it is. So it wouldn't be what it is without people like you. So I appreciate you. And uh, so shout out to Delicate Dandy. She's actually responsible for this video today. She asked a question and asked me to talk a little bit about websites. And so that is what I'm here to do today. First and foremost, I really, really wanted to have an affiliate link for this video. I do not. There is no affiliate link for this video. So guys, just remember that I do this for free. Not I don't have any free time and I still do this for free. So I am trying to figure out ways to monetize the channel without monetizing you guys directly. So when I do have affiliate links, please go and support them when I, when I put them out. Or if we do have a sponsor, I'm not saying go and buy something from every sponsor, but do go and at least check them out so they see traffic from the boss you know, from the boss family and so that we can continue to get those opportunities and hopefully if the channel get, you know, it start to, starts to make a little bit of money, then we could do some giveaways and, and things like that for the community and things that will actually uh, 
be more beneficial to you guys for for supporting the channel which i do wholeheartedly appreciate and the support that i've been getting so far has, has been absolutely great the people who reach out and the people who say uh good things i do see you I, re I respond to every comment there's not a comment on the channel that i haven't responded to so uh feel free to leave a comment and i'll definitely respond to you i appreciate all you guys for doing that i think we're at we're just above 2400 subscribers which is crazy if, if you look at some of my old videos i thought that having 100 subscribers would have been absolutely amazing so to be here is absolutely dope but the channel's still not monetized we still got a few hours of uh watch time to gain before we are just monetized we've gotten a, a few uh requests for sponsorships so that's also in the air if that's something that you guys are okay with and want to see sponsorships then let me know in the comments i probably won't do it if everyone's just like no no we don't want to see you talk about any sponsors but some of these brands may actually have something uh that we could all use and benefit from so it might be a good idea at least to hear them out and uh let them uh you know present themselves to you but i wanted to have an affiliate link for this video because i use a particular platform and i thought it would be cool to have them you know be an affiliate link and you know give me an opportunity to to give give back to them you know some of the things that i received from them but i was actually denied affiliate program so weird so we won't be exclusively recommending any one platform what i will say is that most of the platforms are rel relatively the same but i'll give you some things to look out for so that you aren't shorting yourself features that you might need so that's one of the one of the first things i want to talk to is features uh, when you're choosing a platform to build your website on which you can do you know things like squarespace weebly wix whatever, whatever GoDaddy, wordpress you can pick any of these platforms to build your website on building a website is not not hard it's no harder than making any other social media account you, you you're going to fill it with your own words and pictures and most of these website platforms depending on what your business is they may already have a template for that business or, or your industry so do not be intimidated at going to try and create a website what you want to pay attention to within the platforms uh, at least is that certain platforms they have a little a few more capabilities and some of those may be unnecessary or some of those may be a little bit more work to learn and, uh, and get the understanding of the platform like like say a wordpress wordpress would be you know the ferrari of the website building platforms you know it's it's fully customizable you you every single detail of the website you own and you can you can access and you know it's all front and center for you uh, with that it's, it, it can be a little bit more complicated than some of the other platforms and the learning curve can be a little bit steep but wordpress if you want to start off on day one you know with with a, a website that's going to have every every bit of type of capability that you can imagine it's going to be able to grow with you throughout the the you know throughout the course of your career then wordpress is something to, to consider uh, there's a bunch of plugins for wordpress to, to make your website do whatever you want it to do it's the industry standard basically is in you know is wordpress so take a look into wordpress uh, if that's the route that you want to go if you if you have some web design experience or if you have some money to hire someone to to build a Word, wordpress site for you uh, just make sure if you go that route that you do still own the website that it's you know something that you are able to log in with your credentials and something that you own so with all of these platforms that's really a big big thing i actually was i felt scammed uh, when i partnered with the company to build a website for me and then realized that they own the website so if i were to stop doing business with them then my website comes down it, it's not it's not it's no longer not just just being maintained they the whole website comes down so you want to make sure you own your website you want to make sure you own the credentials to log into to whatever platform that is then there's that second tier uh, group of website platforms which is your weebly wix squarespace and things like that which are all really great platforms they do they they're they aren't as great at customizing things uh, because you're more locked into whatever their templates allow you to do but they're getting more and more you know they're still extremely customizable uh, they're just a little bit more drag and drop what you'd be used to for for like say a regular social media account or myspace if you remember that if you're old enough or maybe i just age myself and no one even on this channel knows what myspace is anymore but 
Uh, but yeah, they're really, really easy. Uh, I've used Wix and no, I've used, actually I have used Wix. I've built my sister's website on Wix. Uh, the very first GCO website was built on Weebly. Uh, then I believe we moved to the one I just mentioned where it was, I got scammed and then I had to do an entire site migration to Squarespace. And I had used Squarespace, I think, for a different business venture. So I had a little bit of experience with it. And so that's uh, how I ended up where I am now, which is both of my websites, Nine Media Creative and G4 Commercial Cleaning, both sit on Squarespace platform. They offer some SEO options, so you can do SEO on, on all these platforms, all, all these other platforms. You can, you know, for the most part, completely customize it. You may be locked into a template style or some restrictions of certain templates, but there's a lot of YouTube videos and there's a lot of tutorials out there to help you walk through all these processes. And all of those, they, you know, again, they have templates for, you know, whatever your business style is or whatever your industry is, you can start with a template and then make sure you go in, you know, replace all of the templated information, pictures and text with your own information, with your own high quality image and text. Speaking of high quality images and text, that is going to be something that sets your website apart from your competition. It's a really big reason my website was able to, to bring me business was because that when people clicked on my website, it looked like the other professional companies' websites. And the only the, the main thing that made that difference in having a website that looked amateur or like a mom and pop shop to a business that seems trustworthy and like they should be actually approaching other businesses is high quality media. So high quality videos, high quality pictures, uh, and your text is your text. That's whatever your brand message is. But the pictures, the graphics, all those things need to be done professionally. If you guys aren't graphic designers and don't have access to, you know, a camera, you don't have a high quality camera, then I suggest you, you hire that out. You hire a photographer to come take some pictures of you or your team at work, or you hire a company like mine, Nine Media, and uh, we, you know, we create your uniform, we follow your brand colors and your color scheme, your color palette. Uh, we find actors and we, you know, we shoot that content for you so that you can have those high quality images to put in the backgrounds and in the thumbnails and in, in the spaces in your, in your website. So, uh, but yes, that is going to set you apart from all, from the rest of the competition. But it's pretty simple. Pick pick one. It doesn't really matter. Look through the features and make sure there's not a, a, a feature that you're thinking of having on your website that the platform that you're looking at doesn't have. You know, then stay away from that platform. It'll pretty much maybe choose itself for you. If one platform has a feature that you really want and the other one doesn't, then go ahead and give it a try. Most of these sites, Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, they have, you know, trials, free trials. So go and try messing around on a couple of platforms and just to see which one you like best. As far as features, what one thing I do want to say is there's a couple of things that were really important to me when I was building my, my website, or at least these last couple of times, was I really needed the scheduling feature. So I know Squarespace partners with Acuity, and so I use that combination of, of platforms in order to have my scheduling so where someone can you know book a meeting or book a walkthrough or schedule that and they can fill out a form and those things can happen without my input so it's a it's part of the system so people you know, once i attract people to my website they get their information that they want to see from the website they fill out the form and schedule when they want someone to actually come and walk through the facility once that form is filled out and scheduled it pops up on my calendar and, and in my email and then I just, you know, I can show up that day. You know, there's also email automation that happens in between that, but you get the idea. Uh, the web, a website handles all of that stuff for you. It allows you to be able to do all that stuff and, and also retarget people who visit your website. You know, if they visit your website, they probably have some intention of, uh, of buying your service or, or spending money in your industry. But websites, really important. If you do not have one, it's, pro it's probably the first thing I would say to do is work on your website, get high quality image and you know, high quality media on that on that site, promote your site, you know, make sure you have that website linked everywhere on all your other social media pages and things like that, and that you're trying different things to, to get traffic to your website. Organic website traffic, this is why there's no reason for you to not have a website and why I say it's the first thing to do. Uh, your website is going to appear on the search engines. Search is free, 
organic business. If you're good at search or you're good at your, making your website come up on Google or, or, in, or in other search platforms or search engines, then you win. You are going, you're going to win, especially in my industry, which is cleaning B2B, where it's heavy, heavy search. Most of the thing, most of the deals that close start from a search because someone in the office says, oh, this place is dirty. Uh, Hannah, please get a cleaning company in here. Hannah goes to her desk and Googles cleaning company near me or commercial cleaner in my area. And then, you know, we pop up. And so if you're, if you're good at that, that can happen for free if you study SEO and you and you study how to do it and how to set it up in whichever platform you decide to go with. The better you are at that, then you know your business. The better your business will be for it, or at least the more interest you'll have into your business. So that you know, obviously, there's a lot more to that and paying attention to what you're saying, what what you're putting out on, what's showing up on Google. If your website is is going to convert well, what's on the page is actually going to be enticing enough to, to, for people to make them stay on the site and actually you know, fill out a form or contact you or reach out to you or whatever the call to action may be. Uh, that's all skill and, and talent based. So you're going to you know, have to figure out how good you are in that area, but it needs to exist. You know, this, it's, you know, this, this is 2022. We've been saying that if you don't have a website for your business, then your business doesn't exist. We've been saying that since, you know, early 2000s. So have a website. You Yes, you absolutely need to have a website. You cannot just, you're, you're not going to get enough volume to, to run a sustainable business or build a big business off of just social media traffic. You're going to need a place to be able to pull that traffic in and, and you know, and build your own audience and build your own list of customers so that you're not relying on all these other platforms for traffic and for, uh, you know, and for leads. And you'll be able to create your own leads that way. And also for reach, uh, everyone who follows you on all of these platforms, they don't always see your content. So if you post something, not everyone who follows you is going to see your content. If someone goes to your website and joins your email list from your website, every time, I, every time you send an email to that, to that list, every single person is going to get the email. It's extremely valuable to have a website for that reason alone and also the ability to show up in search. And, uh, and so that's, you know, that's basically how my business was built, showing up in search. So do that, be good at it, build a website. I'd love to help you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I appreciate you guys. Hope this brought value to you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Liking the video really helps, helps me out. It pushes the video to the rest of YouTube's audience and, re and recommends it to more people. So hit the like button for your boy, especially if you got any value from this video at all. I appreciate you guys a lot. Let's see if, if there's there anything else. There's nothing else. No. Go out there and kill it, man. Start your website, build your website, get to building your business. I love you. Keep that boss mentality. Peace.